Hello and welcome to Mentoring the Mentors, an institute that accelerates your learning curve. My dear educators, this is Minakshi Narula and I am going to discuss with you about my new book, Creative Connections, using art to explore science in the primary classroom, as you can see it on the screen as well. So my dear educators, as a teacher, I have always been passionate about finding new and creative ways to engage my students in the learning process. Even at present, when I am working as a principal, I'm leading a school, even then I keep on finding new and innovative ways to engage my teachers during all my meetings. So my dear educators, that's what led me to write this book, Creative Connection. It is all about integrating art and science in the primary classroom, showing teachers how to use art as a tool to exploring scientific concepts. See, uh, you know very well, I need not to speak about it because you have been attending number of webinars, number of seminars on arts integration by CBSC or maybe in other sources as well. So my dear educators, there are so many benefits to using art integration in the classroom. Not only does it make teaching learning more engaging and fun for the student, but it also helps to develop their critical thinking, their problem solving skills. By connecting art and science, students are able to make meaningful connections between different subjects, which helps to deepen their understanding and they retain the material better. So in creative connection, I provide a variety of activities on arts integration, on multiple intelligences, as well as based on Bloom's taxonomy. So the teachers, they can integrate art with science as per different Bloom's taxonomy levels as well, as per the student's understanding as well, moving from remembering to creating. So you will be able to get a number of other things in Creative Connection. I will be giving you a glimpse of the content as well, what all contents are there in this book. And if you are a teacher looking for new and innovative ways to engage your students in the learning process, I personally recommend you checking out my book and Creative Connections. Do create wonderful connections in your classroom. I have covered all the topics that have been listed as per the CBSC curriculum, what all any book that you are using in your class, maybe it's NCRT book, maybe you are using any book by any private publisher, you will be able to get all the topics relevant as per the syllabus and you will be able to get different activities as per different topics. With this easy to follow up different kinds of activities, you will be able to inspire your students to think critically, creatively and scientifically. So my dear educators, I will be sharing with you the table of contents with you. Just wait and watch. So my dear educators, here is a glimpse of the contents in this book, Creative Connections. You'll be able to know about learning by doing, bringing science to life, becoming science. I mean, these are the now engaging activities, what I have given these different titles for collaborating science, visualizing science, applying science. This is not at all something theory for you to read. These are all different activities that you will be able to explore and use the same in your classes. See, teaching science for all, learning science on your own, cooperating for science, arguing for science, playing for science, cartoon science, concept cartoon, challenging science, modeling science. See, these are the different topics that you will be able to explore and implement the same in your classes. See, so innovative and engaging activities that I have personally used and I recommend the same for you as well. Make sure you use the same. See, number of different unique activities are there that you can use and what not. And from chapter number 127, you will be able to get, I mean, 126 innovative activities, unique activities that you can use across any topic, any subject. And 127 chapter onwards, you will be able to get topic-wise activities, as you can see here on the screen, starting from plants, animals, health, life, force, energy, light. I mean, what not the different topics that are there I have try to cover each and every topic, my dear educators. And you'll be able to get the details of some activities as well that you find they are very unique to you. And art integrated projects, they have also been mentioned along with the rubrics with some examples so that you can go ahead with the art integration as well. 
and you will be able to know about how to elicit evidence of learning what are the different ways that you can use how you can activate your students prior knowledge how you want and you would like to implement activating learners as owners of their learning feedback that moves the learners forward and the learning intention what is learning ladder you will be able to get to know about all those things so my dear educators what are you waiting for just grab a copy for yourself that is going to really help you 155 chapters more than 250 pages in a book as you can see here on the screen too so my dear educators grab it hurry up thank you all of you for watching, mentoring the mentors. Thank you. Have a nice day.